In today's episode of Developer's Diary, we'll be telling you more about Tanky X optimization and the impact your feedback has on the game. Make sure you don't miss it! Optimizing the game is one of the top priorities for our developers. In the last episode, we explained some parts of this process, but this time we'll be digging deeper. We're working on three kinds of optimization – client, server and cluster connectivity. Client optimization mainly involves the improvement of graphics and the elimination of various things that might trigger drops in FPS. The main goal of server optimization is to increase the number of players that can simultaneously play on a single server. At this point in time, Tanky X has only one active testing server. Our server can currently handle a maximum of 50 simultaneously connected players, but this number is growing with every release. Once we are done with the optimization process, our server should be able to hold between 2 and 3 thousand simultaneously connected players. We expect that there will be more than a couple thousand tankers playing simultaneously. Therefore, we will have a number of servers. Now, the real challenge is to make all the servers synchronize in real time. To achieve this, we will have to group them into a cluster. What this means is that, physically, there will be a dozen servers, but the game will treat them as one giant server. Without this cluster implementation, our servers would never be able to support the open beta testing. This is why we're committed to solving this problem rapidly and in the best possible way. Just like any other game developer, our goal is to make a great game. This is why your opinion is extremely important to us. In order to get the required feedback, we regularly send different questionnaires to our closed beta participants. It is thanks to your feedback and bug reports on the help side that we've managed to repair a huge number of bugs. These include minor texture flaws, incorrect battle fund distribution, lots of bugs on the CTF mode, and many more. Our developers are actively working on the anti-cheat system. Our latest step in this direction was reconfiguring our preventive systems. This was done in order to reduce the number of fake signals triggered by lags, which led to unexpected self-destruction. Since then, the number of these incidents has dropped dramatically. In our previous episode of Developer's Diary, we talked about changes in graphics. This triggered a wave of positive feedback as well as lots of questions. One of them was, will Tanky X allow us to customize our graphics settings in more detail, such as setting the drawing range and the quality of water, shadows and vegetation? Yes, we are definitely planning on implementing an improved menu for graphics settings. However, this will most likely happen closer to the start of the open beta. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Tanky X Developer's Diary. See you next time!